And just like that, we are live once again. I apologize to those of you who've been waiting on my Tuesday evenings uh, streams. There's been some um, a lot of movement around here. As you can see, this camera is really, really, really bad. But I do have another microphone. So there have been some technical difficulties. But I, so I apologize if you're waiting for me at the 7 p.m. Tuesdays. However, we will continue those um after next week, I think we're going to skip next week because it next week is Adobe Max. Is that right? I think it's next week. What is today's date? The 19th? Yes, yeah, definitely next week. Adobe Max is coming and there's a ton of updates. Oh, my God. All right. So uh, welcome to the stream. My name is Delta Tango Mike. Let's go ahead and get started and talk about what we're going to do today, Dan. What are we going to do today? Today, we're going to do what we try to do every day. And that is to take over the world one drawing at a time. And that means Adobe Illustrator. So let me go ahead and break out my Adobe Illustrator so you can see my screen. There we go. And uh, most recently, I have been editing some of the scullies here in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. So that's what we're sticking with, uh, Adobe Illustrator on the iPad. As you can see, Scully Divine Blue Lou Mama just uh, updated. Uh, excuse me. And, uh, and so let's, we're going to hop into that today. However, I got a couple of things I want to touch on. Number one, Adobe max is next week. Uh, forget exactly what days are the Adobe max. And so I'm sure there's a link in the, at the top of the screen. Let me see. It is October 26th to the 28th. That's all. It's, it's like three days. Oh man. I want more. Let's take a look. Uh, Adobe. Max October 26 to the 28th. That means the Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Very, very cool. Adobe Max. I'm excited for some of the things that we're gonna see, and especially because some of those things we already see ourselves. Me, me, including. I see a ton of this stuff already, and so it's really awesome that uh, the world gets to see these things. So let me go ahead and share with you a couple, of, uh, a couple of things here. Number one, there it is, Adobe Max. Don't forget, it, registration is free. And um, for a while there, they were giving away swag, so um, I got a chance to get me a shirt. So I don't know if the shirt will get here before Adobe Max, but hopefully it will because then I'll, sh I'll shine on it all week. And, um, and so uh, talking about Adobe Max, this was uh, posted today on Twitter uh, at the Adobe Creative Cloud account. Check it out. No, sir. It says introducing vectorize. Okay, what was the rest of this video? It's just Adobe and the artist. Keep watching. No, just Adobe. Where, who's the artist? I tell you, some of these gigs, I hope they pay you enough to be one of those artists. Introducing vectorize. And at the beginning of the video, we see the artist drawing on a sketchbook. Then uh, they clean up the sketch and get their iPad to take a picture. So they take a picture of their sketch with an iPad. Then they open Illustrator. Here we go. They're in Adobe, they're, now they're in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, there is a, a button that says Object Vectorize. So let me go ahead and open my Adobe Illustrator and see if it's available. I doubt it's available right now. I think it's coming. Let me see. Because unless, unless I did not look in that spot, let me see if I can uh, check it. Oh, what's going on? Something just happened here. Oh, the Discord crashed. Why are you crashing on me, Discord? All right, are we still alive in the Discord? I think so. It looks like it. Let me see. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know why my Discord crashed, but I'm sorry. There we go. And so let me look over here. No, we don't have the same um, 
I'm looking in my uh, it, um, oh there it is right there. Let's see. No, it's not there. Uh, I'm looking in my Illustrator on the iPad, looking for these controls right here on the right hand side, and it has a line. A uh, what's that name of that object? That's object, and then type um something 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 and even this one is not there right now so i'm on the up-to-date adobe illustrator on the ipad and i don't see that i don't see those controls i'm looking right at them right now this is a picture i selected a picture let me see if i can move that picture can i i guess it needs the pencil because i have the settings set to pencil so looking on the right hand side i don't see those controls there's that object icon and none of those controls are there what happens if i turn this back up nothing there's nothing there okay so it and i checked today right before i went live i checked i made sure that my ipad was up to date my illustrator on the ipad was up to date so that means what dan that means that next week during adobe live we're going to get an update that's right. That's right. What's up? Motor Void in the house. I forgot to say hello to people. <laughs> Sorry. Motor Void is uh, joining us in the chat and in the Discord. We have Lean, Bree, and Motor Void. So, yeah. So, that's some um, uh, big, big news. And, uh, and next week, we'll have a chance to share all those things that we've been doing because I'm just going to show you real quick. There goes that uh, updating Adobe Illustrator because i have an adobe illustrator icon right here this is my adobe illustrator icon let me move it around you see that icon right there that is the pre-release adobe illustrator and so we've been playing with that option for a while now and so as soon as it goes live to everybody on adobe max then we'll have a chance to play with it uh, live in our streams, so that's important. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so let me see what happened there. Hmm, I wonder. I did not change it, but I'm glad it did change because uh, I, I didn't check something. I'm looking over here on my screen. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about right before we get into drawing is the the a li I show you a list of the amazing artwork that Bree. SL Price. I, I, she, she told me her name and why is there an S and an L and the price and the Brie. But uh, in any case, let me see. What did I do here? There it is. Okay. Uh, what 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 Brie Price has done with the Scullies is amazing. And, uh, and so I'm going to share my screen again and show you. Boom. There it is. Look at all these Illustrator files right here. These are all a bunch of Illustrator files. And... Oh, let me see how many. Uh, so Odari has done two of the files here. Oh, he's done three. Sorry, he, Odari has done three. Um, Cinnamon has done one of them. <clears throat> I have done one of them. So Odari three, Cinnamon one. So that's four. I've done one. So that's five. So five. So out of the five, there is. Uh, let's see. That's five. So take away ten. That's eighteen. Uh, take away one, two, one, two, one, two, 18, uh, minus two is 16. So Bree has done 16. That's only on this series, 16 Scullies plus, uh, let's see how, how many in here. There's a couple in here. I forgot 16 or was it all on the other side? I think they're all on the other side. Oh no, there's one right there. 16, 17. Uh, with Pudgy. So Bree has knocked out 17 Scullies. And she says she's working on the next one right now. And so right now we can't see the Scullies because I'm still working on them. Uh, we're still uh, doing some touch-ups on them. But it's amazing. It's super amazing to see this many Scullies. Wow. Wow. Which reminds me, I can work on those Scullies here on... Illustrator on the iPad. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so let me close a couple of things. Get back into the groove over here. Boom. 
And so let's see, where did I do my pencil? It's right here somewhere. I know I got it somewhere. So there's the pencil. As you can see, there is uh, Scully Divine Blue Lulu Mama. Boom, boom, boom. This is done in uh, fresco, finished in Adobe Illustrator. Looking good. I like it. I like it. This is nice. And then if you look at some of the layers, here they go. It's a ton of layers here to be had. And, uh, and so this one's ready to get minted. Uh, I just wanted to show off a little bit. And, uh, but let's take a look at some of the other files. So let's take a look at the Fresco files and see which uh, others uh, we're working on. And uh, tomorrow, all day tomorrow, is all about vectors in Fresco. So stay tuned for that. There go some updates. Somebody's been working. Uh, Justin has been working. Bree has been working. And uh, and then uh, Cinnamon has been working. Oh. <laughs> Cinnamon's doing the Animaniacs. She said she was going to do the Animaniacs. That's cool. Uh, Cinnamon worked on uh, a Doctor Who villain. And then we have Wednesday, Morticia, and... Uh, um, I forgot that from uh, uh, Big Fight in Little China. And then, of course, the diary worked on Chucky and on Fred Flintstone. There it is. So there's been a lot of Scullies in the works. We are down to the last batch of Scullies. That's it. This is the announcement, Odari. What's up, Odari? <clears throat> this is the big announcement for tonight. We're down to the last set of 24. So if you are an artist who's working on a Scully, you have to you, you, you get a chance to finish that Scully you're working on, and that's it. That is all. We run out of Scullies. That's all. I have a few Scullies that I need to knock out. Look, B Villa, Zapata, Juarez, Biggie, the Black Mamba, Nips, and uh, Hermanos Chickens. Those are some of the Scullies that, uh, that I have to work on. I just got a confirmation on one more Scully. I'm looking at this a message right now they confirmed so let me go ahead and uh, duplicate change the name i am in adobe fresco we're going to rename this as scully's scullington and i see tom joining us <clears throat> tonight very cool welcome tom and odari on the discord word up uh word Word, word, word. I see you. <laughs> and Odari says, I'm doing Sonic and I'm done. That's it, Odari. That's it. You, we out of space, man. Because I have a few to finish. And uh, and so I have to call all uh, and message all the Scully artists that we have on this list. And there's a ton of them. And, uh, and let them know. That's it, yo. Let me scroll down. Let me scroll down. We've been sharing through the Creative Cloud documents. We've been sharing documents. So let's, let me tell you about all the artists we had. There we go. Brie, Cinnamon, Claudia, D, Gareth, Jack, Jess, Justin, Jasimi, Loriata, Monica, Odari. Odari's got a ton of them. Ryan, SVD Art, Sweet, AF, Tamika, and Tom LaRock, and Unique. Woo, I don't know how many was that. I didn't count them. I was just saying words. <laughs> One, two. Let's see. Let me see. That's why I need my glasses. Three, four, five, six, seven artists. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen artists plus myself. That's nineteen artists. Can you believe that? Wow. So there it is. Oh, it didn't open up, did it? I hope it wasn't trying to. Oh, no, no. Go, go away. 19 artists worked on the Scully so far. And uh, and I feel good about it. I feel really, really good. Uh, we still, I'm still getting messages and um, texts and, uh, and comments telling me, oh, you should draw this kind of Scully and that kind of Scully. Like, yes, I wish I had more hands. And, uh, and so, but now we got to like, um, oh, what do you, how do you say it? How do you say it? Um, uh, how do you mean saving, like saving the space to, um, we gotta be frugal about, uh, which, uh, scullies we do because that's it. 
Now, of course, that doesn't mean that you don't get to do Scully's later if you want to. It just means that it won't be part of the official 144 Scully's. Bam. So that's Ming. Yeah, that was Ming Odari. Good. I, I, I forget people's names. So let's go ahead and import a Scully and work on it. Oh, no. Update. Come on. Oh, my God. There was some updates today. I did update all my uh, apps, and that's what I get for doing that. Boom, boom, boom. Bam, bam. Ooh, I like that. That was uh, Adobe Insiders wallpaper. I don't know if you're part of the Adobe Insiders, but that, that was a thing. Uh, let's see. Let's see. All right, okay, I know what I need to do. That was, uh, oh, there's, this is how we can see um, Breeze drawings right here there goes uh sheena prince warrior princess pr princess warrior phantom uh cousin cousin it what's up what's up morticia boom 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 wednesday and brie i don't know what this is it says brought brought something oh bride of bride of uh of uh of godzilla no bride bride frankenstein <laughs> <laughs> right brought is um German for bride. Mm. Okay, that, you that. Became bride of Godzilla. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> there, should, there should be a bride of Godzilla. That sounds cool. <sighs> What's up? He uh, has a kid. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Garrett? Joining us on the on uh, on on B hands. Word up. There goes Uncle Fester. Boom, boom, boom. Um, Lurch, he looks kind of blonde, uh, uh, Bree, but that's cool. And he then, is blonde, but I don't know how he got Gomez cigar in his mouth. Yeah, because like when I export it, uh, some of the layers came with it, and I didn't turn them off, and so I haven't fixed the file at all. I haven't even done anything, and so we will handle that. <laughs> There's one. That's cool, huh? That's what he does. When Gomez is out of town, Lurch be chilling. He chilling. He chilling with the cigar. Yeah, boy. Um, ringing the bell or ringing the the. No. Then Gomez we. Awesome. I love that. Yeah, yeah, it's hardcore in it. Uh, Bree did a good job of of doing the hair and stuff. <laughs> so, uh, Bree worked on um, the uh um, Doctor Who. Doctor Who, Who number one. There goes uh, number two. I'm glad you did the numbers like that so that I can know what it is uh, uh, and name the file accordingly. There goes uh, number three. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, number four. And uh, he got that English uh, hair. That one got the English hair. And then uh, that one is uh, number 13. Boom. So there you go. That's is number 14. That's 14. Yeah. Is that the one yeah. you're working on now or you are working on one that's different than this one? I I'm working on uh that one in 15. Okay. The next one that comes up. Okay, so this one's not ready. This one's not ready? No, not 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 I got to do the number again. Well, you don't have to draw the number, but is the character complete? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's what matters. Well, will you let me know what number that is? This is you said this is number 14. So it's not number thirteen, yeah. but number fourteen. Okay, I'll change it. I'll change it in the and, uh, in the file name. And and uh, number four is up there on number four, Doctor Who. This one is number four. Yeah, so you can grab that four. Oh yeah, well we're not gonna keep the numbers like that. Yeah, we, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. What I will do is probably find something for the background. That will give you either a number or something related to that to that Doctor Who. How about that? That'll be cool. Okay, so number, <clears throat> so the the Doctor Who that has the number thirteen, he's actually number fourteen. Correct. Okay, let me go ahead and change the name now, so that up here on this document, it is correct. Uh, let's see. Come on. I'm on number four. There it is. Boom. Got it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So there it is. Oh, I, I renamed them to Dr. Who, y'all. Dr. Who, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> then that's what we'll do. Uh, uh, when, tomorrow, I'm going through all of these and working them in Illustrator 
and uh, and making adjustments. And I'll be at my big computer with the Cintiq so we can use the blob brush and a lot of other tools in Adobe Illustrator desktop. OK, that's the plan. I got I got you on the big screen. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> High def is a month. Yeah, it makes me look ugly. <laughs> Is that HD? Okay. All right. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. So there we go. Let's go ahead and pull up one of the Scullies and that we're going to work on tonight. I have a list. Oh my God. I have a list. I have a ton of Scullies that I need to work on. And so there it is. Uh, the Scullies. Boom. Uh, no, I don't think it's in this folder. I need to go back. I think it's in this folder. Let's see. We'll see. No, it's not in this folder. The one I work, want to work on tonight because I do have somebody for Ahsoka also. Yeah, that, that, oh, that one's for Odari Lorian. That's right. So where is uh So let's go ahead and download that. Let's download Ahsoka. See how far we can get. There we go. And uh, who drew this? Oh, Dari drew this. But so who wants it? Somebody wants this one. I forgot who. Oh, Monica says she wants it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so let's save it. Import. And now we're going to look for the other one, the one I want to work on tonight. There it is. I see you. There it is. There it comes. Boom. Body slider. Anybody knows who this character is? Feel free to just holler if you hear me. Ah. Nope, but it's one of my favorites. That's one of your yeah. favorites? <laughs> nice. Yes. Uh, and so that already has an owner. Yep. Effie. Effie is, uh has already bought this one. So that's why we're going to work on it. But yes, this guy is one of my favorites. That's why I drew him. I like him. I like uh, that whole storyline back in the 90s. Man, uh, Marvel was really doing it with the X-Men. And uh, and I kind of thought that that during the big a uh, bunch of movies, some um, uh, X-Men movies, period, we just had 10 years ago that we would see a good cable. I never watched that movie with um, what is it? Uh, Deadpool. Yes, Deadpool. And it had cable in it, which I kind of like the character. But I think that dude's played out, man. I don't know if I really care to see that cable. Thank you. I like him. He did a good job. He's he's a goonie, man. He everything he do is good. <laughs> I mean, he was Thanos. So, right. Yeah, he, well, that's the thing. It's like you got to pick one. You can't be all different characters. I, they do it though, man. I mean, Captain America was Human Torch at one time. <laughs> right, but and that was a failed Human Torch, you know. Yeah, that so was right, so it's like you know. So if you're gonna do something like that, it's like really, yeah, we really need to. We don't really need to go through that, man. That doesn't. Well, what made it cool that Cable is an older cat. He's an older guy. Mm -hmm. So getting a younger guy to do it wouldn't be right. You know what I'm saying? In the comic book, they over-exaggerate how big he is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he's an older guy, so I think they picked the right dude to play it. Hmm. I don't know. So. I, I, that, well, any, I wasn't sold on it, and so I, I understand. Yeah. I, I see. I see. And I so, love him. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. And so, so we can, so I, I, so is, is, I haven't seen the movie, so I really won't make, uh, um, and have him an opinion on how well old boy did with that. I did like him in that movie, old boy, but I did see the original, I think it's a Korean movie, old boy. So that was super cool. Um, uh, but the remake was all right. And, 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 and I like it. However, because he was Thanos and he was in a bunch of other movies, it's like I've seen his face so much, like I wish it was somebody else. But it's cool. It's cool. However, I do wish I had seen Cable 10 years ago. I wish I would have seen Cable before we seen Apocalypse, that weak version of Apocalypse in the movies. Oh, my God. And you know what? We didn't draw Apocalypse. That would have yeah, been a, a great character. Shit. Excuse me. Snap. Um, He's gonna be a, a favorite character of mine in Dune. I know a lot of people don't watch New Dune, but the character he's playing is one of one of the coolest characters. He's he's the fighter. He's the trainer. So the that's guy coming out this month. The guy who yeah, played guy. in Apocalypse. The guy who played Apocalypse. No, the oh. guy that played in Apocalypse. He's the father. So both these guys are in this movie. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, in Dune, in the yeah. movie Dune, there in the movie Dune. Okay. Yeah, the Dune movie. Uh-huh, oh uh-huh. man, it's gonna be epic. I uh-huh, mean, uh-huh. I, it took me a long time to understand what Dune was, but now that I get it, this movie's gonna be great. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I, I read the books a long time ago. Somebody introduced me to um, the pre sequels, which were written by the the son Herbert. I uh, forget his name. Um, uh, the son wrote the pre sequel books after the dad died, and the dad is the the original writer who wrote the Dune series. Um, uh, left a lot of notes, and so when the original writer died, his son took all the notes and wrote uh the prequels which and so all of those books are super amazing man they're amazing it's a great story i don't know i've seen the movies in the past not been impressed they're kind of weird i guess they're about as weird as uh flash gordon in any case (laughs) gary says the 80s dune movie is a bit naff (laughs) herbert yes herbert but uh who uh there's a, a father and son is uh the the writer there it is frank herbert is uh is the son let me see frank's the son yeah well who because the father the the writer the actual writer is uh let me see damn dang dang yeah no frank herbert is the guy yeah 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 okay but the son yeah. did uh, uh who is uh the son and the son wrote uh the rest of them and uh and so anyways um his son Brian Herbert that's what i remember Brian the son is Brian and the father is Frank so the original writer his name is Frank and his son is Brian so yeah you you got to like there's so much and uh, in the books, when you that that uh, undertones in the books, that it's kind of tough to to catch everything in the uh, in the um in the movies and motor voice as well. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, right, mm-hmm. we'll see. We'll yeah, see. I mean, but that's cool. Yeah, the eighties movies is, is visually it's nice, but it's they visually weird. <laughs> <laughs> They're weird. We were ready to accept the weirdness, man. We were weird with it. Okay, so let me go ahead and uh, start making some edits here. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Grab that. Drop it in here. Lock that. 51 is going to get the paste. Boom. Another way to do paste is to double tap on the screen. Let me see. Where is that? There it is. I knew you wasn't going to make me a liar. Paste. There we go. But when you use the tool to paste the the layers paste right where they came from so that's awesome i think uh tom is going to share his screen or something because you got a couple of profiles showing up on on discord it's good to see tom hanging out with the normal folks with the regular folks thank you tom all right let's see what is this here i'm trying to make some adjustments in the 80s, says Motivoid, it was all about the books. Yes, because even after you got your fill with one movie, you want to see the whole story. And, and there weren't blogs. There weren't any articles. Well, I guess it was magazines and stuff. But but if you needed to consume more content, it is the books. The books had it all. All right, so here we go. Let's see. Where am I? All right, all right, all right. Let's get to work, man. Dan is just talking and talking. So what I'm going to do here. I'm going to grab all those layers and combine them. Bam, just like that. And then I'm going to go get the color and see. No, nope, no color. So I have to check and see what's going on here with these groups. Sometimes what happens with some of these uh, elements is that they are um, they don't translate well on the iPad to uh, to allow you to do the edits the way you want to so there we go let's see grading there it is now's the grading is there and on the ipad you have to select one shape at a time which is a little bit extra it's like why can i just do the whole bunch on the desktop you can grab a whole layer select that whole layer and whatever's in that layer will get the gradient that's how it goes a motor voice says they haven't managed to fit the first book in a movie um lord of the rings was even worse in the 80s <laughs> And that's what's tough, right? They want to fit so much story, it's uh, it's almost impossible. 
is almost impossible. Okay, so this side, I want it to be dark. That side, oh, there we go. We got a lot of going on there. Boom, the right side is white. And so I can turn that off, turn that off, turn that off. Oh, so it does, it, it is getting the, the treatment. There we go. We're getting gradients. Why? How? How are we creating a gradient there? Oh, only be oh, because this piece, let me see how big is this piece here. This piece is small, but it looks like it's, all of it is uh, working together. All right, let's go. Let's try something out. Select that layer. Get our properties. Go into our blend mode. Multiply. And then uh, turn down the opacity, which does not hey, look Dad, pretty. No. What? Did you do the tick? The who? The tick. The tick? I did not do the tick. I'm doing Sonic right now, and oh my! And and I, the way I did his face, I'm like, ah, nobody did the tick. But I'm sticking with Sonic. It was just like <laughs> the tick. I totally forgot about it. I like the tick. I like the cartoon. Uh, back in the day, that was super cool. I don't like the new one. I don't know what cartoon this is. The the one that's current. Yeah, the cartoon was great. Um, uh -huh. the guy that did the tick in the original. I've actually know his voice is epic. Mm -hmm. He's the tick. That's the guy from uh, Seinfeld, isn't it? Yeah, that's him. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> he does too. a lot of cartoon voices. He's awesome. Uh -huh. Yep, I like that too. He's a super cool. Okay, so something is weird about this. Let me see. Before, after, before, after. Huh, okay. So, oh, okay, okay, because that's right there. So I'm touching up this multiply. And let's just do a little bit right there. Got it. Keep it subtle. That's what's up. Yeah, the uh, that's a good character, man. There's so many different characters that we can do. You could technically uh, continue this. Uh, oh, there it is. That's what happened. There's this big old blue right there. We can technically continue this series forever. There's always a skull, iconic skull to draw, man. There's always an iconic skull. All right. So I don't know what happened. Why did I have this big blue uh, up here? And what's uh, let's take a look at it. What was my intention with it? Come on. Oh, there we go. Can I select it there? I'm going too fast. Oh, it's normal and it's blue. That's it. Mm-hmm. Multiply. There we go. Let's do that. And so what I really want to do is with this layer is um. Get the individual pieces, get my gradient, and go like this. There it is. Boom. Do this one. Next, gradient. Turn that. Make sure that there's a blend. Next one, gradient. And make sure there's a blend. It needs to kind of blend a little bit. There we go. And so now I can, uh, is it all in this one? I think it's all in this one. Multiply. Yeah, okay, there it is. Good. Lock it. Bam, what's in here? I forget what's in all of these. Okay, there's some more shadows. So let's see. Now, what, that's the part that I don't like about the iPad version of Illustrator. It doesn't have all the elements, all the, the tools that you kind of get used to in desktop. There's uh, people like us who've been around Illustrator for a long time, and you get used to certain tools to get certain effects. And when you're on the iPad, it's not quite there. I know that the development team has been hard at work and trying to make it happen, but I guess we'll live with it. So there's nothing much I can do with this layer other than turn down the opacity because uh, everything that I want to do with this layer is going to have to happen on the desktop version. I'm going to work on that tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, I can work on it tonight. Well, now, nah, yeah, yeah, I can finish this one tonight. Tomorrow, I'll be, I'll be working in Illustrator Desktop the whole time I'm live. It's, uh, we got some, some work to do. There you go. Just turn me up. There it is. Bam. Boom, 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 boom. If you weren't here in the beginning when I started streaming tonight, you missed out. The video that Tom shared on Twitter earlier today, I played it here. Uh, Tom is on Twitter as Tom underscore LaRock and uh, he shared the Creative Cloud Adobe Creative Cloud video on vectorizing on the iPad 
and I looked for those tools on the iPad, Illustrator on the iPad, and I didn't see it. In uh, but I know that it exists in the pre-release, and so uh, you want to check that out next week. Make sure that you have your tickets to watch the the uh, the the sessions tomorrow f for Adobe Max. One thing that I did is I registered early, and so they send me a shirt. That's what they said. I got an email said, "Oh yeah, we're sending you a shirt." And I said, okay, well, I'll wait for it and see what it, what, what it looks like when you give it to me. And, uh, okay, so I can't do any gradients on this layer either because I happened. Oh, I do have uh, all the different sh colors. Oh, I did good. I didn't know that. I thought it was all together. Oh, snap. Look at me. Look at that. I did all the colors in different layers. So that's good. That looks cool. I like it. I like it. Uh, and then this is just um, the gear. Uh-huh. So that's the gear. Yep. There he goes. The clothes and the gear. Got it. Let's lock it. Let's work on the on the fire. Fire. Boom, boom, boom. And then once we're done here, uh, there goes his hair. Once we are done here in uh oops, the cancel. Uh in the iPad version of Illustrator, we're gonna hop onto the desktop version. Boom. And so I want to put that hair in a different place. Why would I have it together? I don't know. Maybe because I'm rushing sometimes. I'm lazy. Oh, there's some brown down there. What? What is that brown? Maybe it was all supposed to be the same color. Oh, I know what it was. I did start with the brown hair. Then I realized, no, no. Um, Cable has silver hair. He's an old man. Boom, come on. How far back do I need to go, man? Jeez. Come on. Let me see. It's stuck. Okay, let's go take it out to the home screen to save because when things start, don't start working right, there we go. We're done saving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, all right, so let's get into it. Where are we? Where were we? We was playing with the hair, man. Come on, give me the hair. Boom, unlock, open up. There's the hair. Yep, with all the other colors. Go ahead and try a color. Got it. It's all done. Lock that layer. Because what we wanted to do was the fire. Let's see what we can do with the fire. And once uh, we play enough with this fire, we're going to roll into the desktop version because everything I want to do is possible on the desktop. Yeah, it's too many moving parts. And I'm not, well, let me see. Let me try something. Let me see what I can do. Copy. Uh, new layer. There's my new layer. Drag it down. And paste. In the new layer, I'm going to combine all, convert to path. And I should be able to do uh, gradients. No, not yet. And let's figure out why. Because there's a couple of layers that are out and about got it so let's grab that compound and see can we do gradients no can we do gradient now yes we can on that one can we do gradient on that one yes you can do gradients in in the individual pieces but not on compound paths and i wonder why it's like why 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 is it is there rules why are there rules to this thing so compound compound and uh oh yeah so let's go here uh release compound path it just does all of that okay because there's a lot of loose pieces now we have the main big uh shape and there it is gradient and you know what i can do let me see can i do radio oh snap oh green that's crazy <laughs> no i don't want green dude but that's cool on the outside i want it red boom look at that fire Fire. Mm -mm -mm. Woo, 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 woo. I can't sing. I know, I know. Dang, that was awesome. Look woo, at that. Woo, woo, woo. That's some high <laughs> players, man. Woo, 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 woo. I, I sound like a, 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 a dog out in the middle of the night. Woo. But that's a, the that's a song, baby. But there is that fire right there. You're hot. You're hot. <laughs> that's right that's right so there's a lot of pieces here that need to go because they're really 
like random. Uh, so let's go ahead and click the trash can. And this, I guess that could that could have my gradient. Let me go boom. But why does it want to do green? I don't want green, dude. There we go. Let's get that one. Where is it? It's up here. Uh, let's go ahead and gradient. Boom. Don't want the green. Make it red. And uh, actually make that burgundy. There we go. And then this one is right there. Again, gradient. Boom. Not the green. Bam. There we go. And then the last one. Where is that? Where is this piece? Uh, yeah, let's forget that. Goodbye. Gone. So there it is. Um, I don't know that that I like that color, but I I want it to all match a little bit. There we go. Cool. So there we go. We got that fire. Boom. So now what I want to do is uh, I can grab this layer and turn down the opacity just a little bit, so it can grab some of that yellow from the from the bottom layer, lock it. Grab this one. This layer is uh, is yellow also, but a little bit gradient, a little bit lower. So that's why you get like that extra tone right there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Excuse me. I kind of like that better. Let me turn that back on. Let me see. Where is it? OK, that's off and that's on, on, off, on. OK, so on is better and but let's turn it down a little bit and then go back to this one. And this one is off and on. OK, cool, cool, cool. So we're going to turn it down a little bit. And make that yellow. We need that to be like yellow. Mm hmm. And then finally, we have this one is white and the opacity is. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's leave it high. You know what? The reality is that when you're in uh, Fresco, Fresco likes to. Um, oh no, that's an Illustrator. An Illustrator, the each it, the the um, blend mode, it attaches itself to the actual path and not to the overall layer. But in this case, we do have it in the overall layer. It just looks a little low. Tone is too low. So let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, copy, new layer. Where's my layer? Come on, it's right That's here. Two more, man. Ah, oh. was that Prince and David Bowie? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna, yeah, you wanna, you wanna, oh you, wanna you wanna draw forever? Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> you do. I know you do. Oh, I and I know why it was uh block being blocked it was being blocked by this. Let me see this right here. Turn, that's normal and then what is this okay so that's another um, but it doesn't still look white so let's go ahead and keep that and turn that on turn that on boom let's see what we have now Scooby-Doo and company yeah Scooby-Doo go ahead uh, old diary you yeah, want to draw yeah, forever free. I thought about Scooby Doo because the Shaggy would be nice and Thelma and she got the glasses and the hair and the, oh my god. Mm hmm. Then it's all your fault. Rainy. It's all my fault. Yeah, so now you start the next series, man. Part you, two. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody got to come up with something that we can create a kind of characters with. There you go. That's your job. I started. I started it off now someone else take over here we go I'm, I'm what I'm doing right now is copying and pasting the hair I'm gonna make that a solid combine all convert to path and I'll know if it's working when I can see my gradients and there's a whole bunch of elements here that are left behind so let's go ahead modifier select that's a touch modifier boom delete Come on. Bam. Now I can s click on my compound path and it's still not there. Why? So I got to do may release compound path. Oh man, there's so much. Let me see. Where is it? There it is. There's the head. So let's grab the rest. 
So what could be another way of doing iconic characters, Odari? That is not a Scully, but kind of has the same idea where you're doing characters. That's going to be the, the next task. I have to think on that one. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. Uh-oh. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. How about doing it sort of steampunky android style? Mm. Take whatever character it is and glam them up with some steampunk stuff or make them half android and like they did with the um, Star Trek with the cube. The Borg. The Borg. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my God. We can, mm. we can Borg folk up. <laughs> Everybody get assimilated. Oh snap! Yes. Resistance is futile. Oh my! Resistance is futile. That's the name. Odari, get on it. Oh my God. Whoa. I'm created a monster. Oh my god, yes you have. I'm a shy country boy. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we gotta discuss this more. Yeah. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. Bree, you are the mastermind. That is crazy. That's good. If you're a uh, trekky, then you definitely wanna see that. Alright, so let's go into Illustrator. And uh, I'm going to have to find other things to do in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad until Adobe Max because um, there are some things that I want to do right now that I can't do in Adobe Illustrator on the iPad that I can do on the desktop. So to the desktop we go. Here we goes. But that's a great idea. That's a good idea, which reminds me of some stuff I got to do. Hold on. Let me see. Uh, boom, boom. You wrote that down, didn't you, old darling? Say that again. You wrote that 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 idea down, right? Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's in the databanks already. You already know. I love Star <laughs> Trek. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, actually, Lower Decks is coming on at three a.m. I'll be up watching. That. <laughs> <laughs> mm mm mm. So if you guys have been paying attention, I've been working on Illustrator on the iPad and it's saved to the cloud. So when I open Illustrator on the desktop, there are my cloud documents right there. Boom, boom, boom. They also show up on your home screen. There's my home screen and there is body slider. The only thing is that if I get my colors off, it's because of this monitor. I need a, I need to be in my main office to, to have the good monitors. So let's go ahead and work on this. But that is a great idea. I write down some notes. I just thought of the last uh, few scullies that I need to add to my to-do list. And that's it, man. We're done with the scullies, yo. And uh, But I like the Borgs. So, like, they're, the Borgs are, are um, assimil they're, they're assimilated icons. So it can be everything and anything with the extra... What do you call it? Steampunk stuff. I tell my wife about it. Let's see what she says. She's a Trekkie. And she approves of the um, lower decks. She thinks it's pretty good. I try to show it to her in the beginning. She's like, nah, I don't want to see that. It's, it's not like Star Trek. But it is. It's just different. It's totally Star Trek. It's yeah. as funny as him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So one cool thing about the desktop, let me just see if I can go full screen. There it is. Bam. One thing cool thing about this desktop is that I can, uh, let's see, come on. Boom. There it is. I want you to no. know is that I can um, do a lot of things that in the desktop version that you cannot do on the iPad version. And that's not natural because the iPad is not made for what we're trying to do with it. But uh, we try. We still try. Let's go. Can I turn this into no? Okay, hold on one second. Let me see where we at there there alt click drag. We made a copy 
we got this copy and uh, and sometimes there it is free from gradient but it won't let me click on stuff let me see it's not happening why is that so let me go ahead and go from file to save as we're gonna save it on the desktop save on your computer boom 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 body slider NFT. That's one thing I would liked about um about cable is that uh in the comics he would say body slide and then and then he, he uh what do you call that? He is uh transported. What do they call it in, in uh beamed? He gets beamed somewhere. <laughs> That's what they call yeah, he it. Teleports time, he right? teleports, yeah, he teleports. Yeah, he teleports. That dude is bad, man. When I saw that, I was like, dang, that is crazy. I like it. All right, so let's go with not a blue color. All right, let's go with deep purple. But let's see if I can't get this gradient to work. Why is it not working? Draw lines or points. I want to draw points, and it's not letting me do it. Why is that? All right, let's see. There's that and that. So, oh, there we go. Finally got something. Come on. There it is. Finally. Woo. Come on. I knew if I click it long enough, it would work. All right. So let's do some red on this side or pink or something. And then here on this side, let's do some yellows or, yes, yeah, some yellows. As a matter of fact, I want the yellow behind his head. There we go. Get some purple. And this is white. I don't want it. What's up, Arseni? How you doing? Hi from Russia. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. And let's go like that. So this, it should just be white. That's where the white should be. Oh, or maybe yellow. Real yellow. There we go. Oh, yes. I like that. Boom. Bam. It's kind of just messing around a little bit. Let's see what happens. Let's go some blue and um, yeah, uh, this is uh, orangey orange. And here, let's make it real pink. Uh, there it is because the pencil is over there. The suit is blue. This uh, orange is for the fire, fire, and then big bright yellow in the middle. I like it. That's good. Let's go with that. Bam. I got that gradient to work, man. Woof. Control is to save. There it is. Got it. So now let's turn on that purple and select that uh, gradient shape and turn down the opacity. There you go. Turn it down, son. Turn it down. I like it. And then we still need some, uh, some uh, artwork for the background. And I have to think about that because let me look up cable. Of course, we want the big X for X-Men. What else? Let me see if I, what I can read about Cable. Uh, cable, X-Men. Boom, 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 boom. And uh, yes, there's so many amazing uh, Cable drawings from the 90s. The 90s were crazy. And this is where I saw a lot of pouches. This is was the, this was uh, the days of everybody has pouches, lots of pouches. What you carry in the pouches? I don't know because them pouches are little. I guess more pencils. That's what you carry. So cable. Nathan Christopher Charles Summers is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics, commonly in association with X Force and the X Men. The child Nathan first appeared as, appeared as a newborn infant in Uncanny X-Men 2001, January 1986. Wow. Created by writer Chris Claremont. While the adult warrior Cable was created by writer Louise Simonson and artist co-writer La Rob Liefeld. Yep. And first appeared in the New Mutants in 1990. That's when I saw Cable. Cable's origin was undecided, and he was assumed to be a separate character. It was later decided that he was actually an older version of the child Nathan, having later become a time traveler. There it is. Bam. So 
what can we add? Let me see. All right, boom, boom, boom. It's hard with English, but you really are a vector maestro. <laughs> thank you, Arseni. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Which reminds me, I do have a chat for those who are watching on uh, YouTube, and that's what my name is on YouTube, Vector Maestros. Bam. Okay, here we go. Just double checking to make sure I ain't forget nobody. Bam. All right, there it is. Cool. Okay, so back to Cable. Nathan Summers. I want to see what are his. Uh, well, let's do the X. We're gonna get the X. X logo. I definitely want that. Mm-hmm. So they've drawn Cable's name with the X in the middle. And uh, let's uh, let's see Cable. X Force, let's go. So you look at the X Force. X Force is cool, but there it is. Cable, and this. Oh yeah, I like that one right there. Let's get that. Bam. Let's see if I can get this. But this one looks like uh, it's an ugly drawing, and it looks like um, uh, apocalypse. There we go. Let's see. I like that one. It has the word cable on it. Ah, uh, but we can't. We don't want to use the actual names, because that's that's not okay. Here we go mutants. All right. I need a big big X. That's what we need. So let's see if we can find a big F uh, X, not a F a X. Uh, I was gonna say font. All right, what is this here? This oh, that's my outline. Let's go ahead and throw that to the top. And let's make a new layer. Boom. Let's get our type tool and just click anywhere on the screen. Shift X. Boom. All right. I'm Spider Man, says Richard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we did Spider Man. All right. Let's go like that. And let's get a font that we like. Hello from the UK, says Richard. Hello, Richard. All right, let's see. Oh, let, uh, let's, oh, that was cool. Whatever that is, that's that's not even a real letter. Uh-huh. What? Are, oh, these are glyphs. Oof, look at all this. This is crazy talk. All right. Let me see. That's just the X. And uh, I guess these are other languages. The X in other languages. Uh, it still looks like an X. There's no difference. Never mind. Keep looking. Let's go here. All right. Keep looking. That's classic, of course. Uh huh. But it looks like 10. So let's find a fat X. Ooh, that's kind of cool, too. I like that one. All right. Keep looking. Keep looking. Mm hmm. Buy house. That's a good font. Oh, that's a, it's like a happy X. Oh, that's not bad. Cause then it's like a slash. Oh, oh, huh. all right. Let's grab that. Oh yeah. Boom. Come on. Okay. Zoom out. Boom. Go make this happen. There it is. Boom. Not yet, not red because it's already the red background. So we have to find different colors to go with it. I like it. And let's find one more letter. Let's make a copy. Oh, there, just just click and drag while holding down the Alt key. You can make a copy. And now let's try it again. Another font. Copper plate, Eras. Uh, oh, that's cool. What's that? Let me see. Oh, it's just, uh, uh, yeah, it's just like that. That's cool. All right. No need for extra lines. Let me see. Uh-huh. Yeah, that could work. Let's try that one. Because uh, then I can put another gradient on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type. Um, create outlines. Got it. Now I can go here. I can go there. Boom. What if I was to, oh, look at that, that's crazy. But let's, uh, nah, let's keep it strong. 
Stay strong. Stay strong, my friends. All right, let's go with the 90. Yes. And let's go ahead with the multiply and turn that down. So. Okay, what is what about this? I think that's all right. I like the simplicity of this. You know what? What where does he comes from the future? Cable and the future. And uh he had he cured a disease. He cured uh Professor Xavier of, of uh something that um what was the other version of cable? Oh uh, there was a villain and uh he came from the future also. And he gave uh, Xavier a disease who's dying. I forgot, man. That's been a long time since I read these comics. Boom, boom, boom. Cable, X Men. And the future. There we go. Come on. Um, uh, let's see trying to find something cool that I can add. I don't want to add like um, the mansion, the school of gifted humans. Xavier, is it the Xavier school of gifted humans? I don't want to do that. Oh, I know what. Let's see. Cable. Oh, Bishop is another one. You know, we didn't do Bishop. Ah. Uh, I was just going to say that. What about Bishop? Yeah, man. With that hair and that M on his... Mm -hmm. That what? is insane. That was one of the great characters. Um, it's, man, it's a ton of X-Men to do. Mm -hmm, it's, mm -hmm. it's a ton of them. It's, mm -hmm. uh, what's the other guy? It's, okay. Because you did it Wolverine. Like uh, the yeah, there was an oh. evil um, a Cable, but his name was not Cable. Oh, there it is right here. Uh, who is this guy? Who was this guy? This guy right here on the right. Um, he can't. Oh, yeah, the, and so he was, uh, he's the villain and, uh, but he's also cable in a different alternate universe. So he was the baby and, uh, and stuff. I forgot his name. Dang. But it's another good guy in the future too. He was like the scientist. But he was still a mutant. I think he was like a Native American cat. But he hmm. wore the suit like uh like uh my man we just we just mentioned. Get old. There was Gambit Gambit, um uh there was a storyline where in the future all the X Men were dead and Gambit was the only one who was alive. I know about that story. Yeah. Yes, and, oh, uh, yeah. yeah, and that was weird. That was weird. Um, but there was so many different like alternate storylines that were being explored, and that was one of them. Uh, and I think Bishop Bishop knew he had seen him, and then when he came back, when he came to the past, he would tell that story, and uh, he was mad at uh, Gambit, I think. Anyways, um, uh, that was it. That's all I remember right now, man. We have to pull up those comics. We need to. So we, yeah, you're we need right. to, we so. need to hang out at a comic book store or, or somebody's house. Who got the comics? We need to hang out at your house. <laughs> I just left the comic book store today. Um, I couldn't remember the character you said you was looking for. I saw Lobo up there. I saw all of those characters. Up there. Um, uh, Grendel, Grendel Prime. Grendel Prime. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. uh, on the on the Lolos, I do have a relative that. So. Okay. All right. We'll send him a list. We'll send him a list and see what he says. All right. So let's see. We got an X here. Oh, uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, I'm trying to find something that I can add here. You know what? Um, metal. Metal armor. I'm just coming out with some ideas on what we can throw in the background. Let me see. Come on. There's so much crazy stuff on the internet, man. All right, let's see if I can find something here. Boom, 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 boom. 
All right, well, I found this one thing. Let's throw it in here, see what happens. Bam. Bring that down, go in. All right, let's get our selection tool, tighten that up right there. Got it. Go to image trace. Let's do three colors. And then we're going to click on um, the other word after that. Uh, image trace and I forget the words, man. I can't remember nothing right now. That's what happens when you're live and you're trying to say things out loud. It's all good. Let's go. Let's go. We're waiting. We're waiting. This computer's struggling, but that's okay. You can do it, computer. All right, let's see where we at. What kind of comments we got going on? Have a good time. Good night, uh, Motor Void. Time to count the pillows. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome. Good night. There we go. Expand. That's the word. Expand. Boom. Okay. So now, hmm, I kind of do like that yellow. We'll see what happens. Bring that yellow down. Lock that. Boom. And now we'll multiply again. So let's see what that looks like. All right. That's kind of an orange right there. Mm-hmm. Before. After. So let's uh, turn that opacity down. It's not so crazy. I like it. Control minus. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this X over here. Boom. Let's grab these two elements right there. Let's go like this. Click and drag across these two anchor points. Bring it in. Got it. That's the good thing about this shape right here. Click and grab these two anchor points or these corners because there's more than one anchor point right there and I'm okay with that. Go there, boom, bring it in, got it. Go here, bring it in, got it. Bam, there it is. So there goes cable. Uh-huh, let's see, how does that look? Okay, so now we got it. So we got the background. I may have to turn it down because it's a little bright. It's a little bit too much, but that's okay. Let's get rid of this layer and we're cleaning it up. This is body slider, NFT, control S to save. We're working through our drawing. Let's make it happen, yo. Make it happen, Captain. Oh, here we go. We do have this and let's go here, there. Boom, boom, boom. And see who's in the Discord still. Uh, oh, yeah, Cinnamon is in the house uh robotic pastries you know what i've been thinking about you i forgot to uh, message you i'm sorry i forgot to respond to your message the other day i didn't do that on purpose i'm sorry uh but uh, i'm glad you are here because that reminds me i got business to take care of okay so let's take a look at what is this here what's this i can't tell there's nothing there is there something there? Yes, there is. So why can't we see the difference? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Very slight difference. Okay, cool. Let's grab it. Put a gradient on it. Put the gradient towards the back. Got it. Done. Next, this one. This is cool. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So let's do a gradient on that, too. We're going to gradient everything. You get a gradient. You get a gradient. Everybody gets a gradient. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Let's go ahead and uh, turn that down a little bit. Boom, boom, boom. There it goes. I like it. Yeah, it's kind of subtle. It's still a little too much, but let's do it again. I guess uh, 18%. That's good. Got it. So that's cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Look at that. Mm, looks like hair. It could be hair. It could be something. It could be fish scales. All right, so what's this here? This is the face. I like it. I'm cool with that. Uh, we have another gradient. What is this here? This is highlights. Looks like highlights. Hi. Oh, yeah, that's the fire. Fire. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, so this is the hair. Let's uh, start putting things in order. All right, let's organize these layers, man. Organize your layers. That's the hair. I know that's done. See, when you name it, you know that you're done with that. Okay, cool. And so then we have the the eyes. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just make this kind of like a brown. Uh-huh. And then turn that on. And then put the gradient on that too. 
And we're going to do a radio. Radio. Can we do radio? Let's see. Boom. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see. Let's take a look. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, that's weird. Uh-huh. Because, uh, let's see. Turn that off. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. No, that's not, that's not too bad. I like it. I like it because this is that. And then there's that. I like it. I'm cool with it. Okay, so that's for the eye. That's the other eye. We got the right eye. Boom. And we'll put those two in the right eye layer. Got it. And so we start locking things down. This is the, the line, so we're good. And then that's the fire. And the fire starts right here. So the fire, we were able to start it in, um, this is the left eye, in Illustrator on the iPad, and we before we hopped on to Illustrator on the desktop. Save, control S. Tom says fire eye. That's right. The left eye is the fire eye. Just call it fire eye, not left eye. <laughs> There's already a left eye out there, right? <laughs> uh-huh. All right, so there goes that. Uh, this is the body, which we don't even see the lines for the body. Not so much. Uh, but let's turn up the opacity. I do want it a little darker. Boom. Got it. So that's that. And then here is something else. Is that on the eyeball? Yes, it is. Yeah, no wonder. I knew there was something else there. Normal, multiply, take it up. And uh, put it on the right eye. Mm -hmm. Bam, and bring it into the right eye layer. Yes, done. Lock it. Have a good night. Uh, thanks for the stream. You're welcome, Marcini. Enjoy your evening or that morning, wherever you may be. Whatever time of day it is, enjoy it. So now I have questions about this. And you know what happens is that I drew this a long time ago. Oh, where is it? Is it that one? And uh, and I don't know what I was doing. It's like I was just drawing stuff. All right, let's drop it right there. There we go. I kind of like that better. And, yeah, there was a better look when there was a little bit of color in between. And so when you draw something a long time ago, next time you're working on it, you're like, mm, why did I do that? <laughs> All right, so let's see at think uh, this is one of the shadows yep one of the shadows and so let's zoom out a little bit mm-hmm boom 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 and where did you go this 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 is one shadow okay so let's let's select that layer and what did I say I was gonna do some gradients and what they look like there we go turn it off turn it on there it is it looks rough it's got to look rough and rugged this is this is cable after all. Okay, so multiply and let's make this, let's give this a color. Uh, can I double click that? Yes, I can. All right, here we go. Boom, RGB. Bam, give it a little redness. Come on, there it is. There you go. Uh, what's that? This is a shadow on the armor. Let's go ahead and give it a gradient. You get a gradient too, uh-huh, but not on this side. We want it on that side. Let's see. There it is. Uh, we have a gradient right there, uh-huh, or just a shadow. Yep, let's make it a gradient. Select it. Gradient and angle is going to be low. Boom. Got it. And maybe turn it down some. Yeah, 45, make it 20-something. Got it. Next layer is uh, uh, this one. This next uh, shadows. Yep, this one. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. Boom. I like I like uh, gradients because then it creates contrast and volume. Cool. The body is done. Uh, maybe maybe so. Let me see. This is the head. The head just has one. So let's go ahead and add another. Head um, color by alt click drag. There it is. Select that vector. Boom. Gradient. And as a matter of fact, yeah, we're cool with it. We're going to roll with it. Bam. There it is. Look at that. And then I can increase the white and change that. There it is. Uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, multiply and turn down the opacity like it. So this is before plain after better plain before after better. And uh, sometimes I do wish I had some highlights. Oh, uh huh. But that's okay. I'm not going to go too crazy because then it would be here forever. El Dari already wants us to draw forever. He doesn't want anyone to have a life. Just sit there and draw. That's what he wants. Draw. What you talking about? Sit down and draw. Sonic done in a minute. Is that right? Uh oh. Yep. So El Dari is steady working on. There it is on Sonic. All right, hold on. Let me see. Uh, boom, turn that down and multiply. See how the neck now has like a little bit of gradient right there? Yes. And it and it's, it makes the color stand off from the skull head. Yes. Look at that. Before, after. Yes, you got to have those things. All right, control S to save. And uh, while well, that's saving, let's open up Fresco. And let's see where, oh, uh, I don't see no Sonic. Where's the Sonic? Have you saved Odari? I just saved. You just saved. Let's see. Yes. Gareth was working on his drawing an hour ago. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, let me see. Let me see. I don't, I, I guess, I guess we'll, we'll find out. Cloud documents, come on, cloud documents. Come on, here we go. Mm, mm, mm. Sketchy, collab, old dar. Oh, there it is. I see it. Old Darius one. There it is. Oh, my. <laughs> dang, that's crazy, old Dari. That's crazy. Why would you do that? That's nuts. Okay, that's. Oh, there it is. Now, now I see it. Uh huh. <laughs> That's in Adobe Fresco, y'all. And because we're sharing cloud documents, I can see what he's drawing when he updates the file. Okay, cool. So now it's time for the gear. And we're almost done here. Skull head. Skull, uh, skull and body. Hey, can I type here? Come on. Body. Got it. Uh, this is the pencil in the background. Got it. Good. Um, boom, 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 boom. Yes, yes, yes. And now we're going with the gear. Control is to save. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, I do want to make this a little bit darker. Boom. There it is. Darker. The gear is darker. I don't like that I did very heavy um, line work, but it's all right. We're going to have to live with it. Okay, so this is all the colors that we have. We're going to alt click drag and unlike what is possible on illustrator on the iPad here on the desktop, no matter what kind of layers you got going on, as long as they're vectors, you can click on the gradient. Boom. Make everything gradient. Bam. Hey, you get a gradient. You get a gradient. Everybody gets a gradient. That's right. So now my angle is down here. Click on it. And so it looks pretty lame. Like that's cool, but it's still it's like, yeah, so so what's the deal here? It doesn't look too bad though. I thought it was lame, but it's not. All right, so let's select that layer and then go to multiply. Boom. Oh my god. Look at that. It's a little too dark. I'm gonna fix it. But look, before, all right, that's before. After what? What before after just what a little bit of gradients will do. It's crazy. Okay, we got that. So now let's turn down the opacity so it's kind of smooth. Come on, give it to me. Uh, boom, there we go. Before after. It's got it needs a little bit more darkness. Let's go to the 50s, 60s. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Got it. All right. Let's see. Before and after. All right. All right. I like it. That's not bad. That's not bad. And what I can do here, this is some of the more of the shading and more of the shading. We're going to do the same thing with these two. Let me see. What's this? 
I forget everything. Okay, there's a little bit of shading there. There's a little bit of shading there. Select that. Multiply. Um, we're going to do the gradient. Make this one solid uh, black. There it is. And multiply. And the shading is going to come from the same place. Is the more you pile it on, the, the more you're going to have a good look. Here we go. Before, after, before, after. Let's turn it up. And so when I turn this up, I'm going to turn this one down. Uh-huh. Let's see. So now I get to play with these layers. There we go. Uh, this was it. Yeah, that was it. See? Nice. It does look a little bit more dramatic. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's turn that down a little bit. It's too high. I just got to play around with it. Now, you know, my eyeballs may be deceiving me because I am on this uh, monitor that is really, really cheap. So we'll see. I got this monitor for $5 at the Goodwill. You got to go to Goodwill. I'm telling you. All right, let me see if I can drag that into this monitor. See what it looks like. Okay, okay. It looks bright. I like it. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice, Dan. Yeah. Yeah, this monitor, it does not have the same color. Okay, cool. Well, there it is. I like it. Let's go ahead and control zero. Control S to save. Let's put away our windows. I know this computer's struggling. It's like, Dan, what are you doing, Dan? I'm coming, man. I'm coming. All right. So this is going to be the body. Oh, this is a gear. Got it. Cool. Boom, bring that in. Nice. There we go. Right there. Got it. Good. Control S to save. I like this. I think we're going to roll with this. I don't know if uh, maybe I should do the X a little bit. Um, oh, what happened? Make the X a little bit. The opacity a little bit lower. Yeah, kind of subtle. Very subtle. Let's do like a shadow. Boom, bam. There it is. That's better. So you can see the X. You can see the other X. We got all kinds of X's happening here. Mm-hmm. There. So that the main character stands out. That's what we want. We want the main character to stand out. Okay, now we do Control S to save. I feel like there's something here missing. I see. I see you. Uh-huh. Boom. Okay, let's uh grab all of this down here. And use the arrow keys there we go there was a little piece missing right there he was gonna get away from me nobody said nothing all right control s to save now we're gonna go ahead and export click on file export as boom inside the computer we have a folder that is the nft files drop to bam body slider nft and export body slide Yep, 900. We're going to roll with it. I like that. No extras. Oh, you know what? It is PNG. Yeah, I think I did PNG. Let's see. It's saving. Yeah, I kind of went super high res. We'll see how it goes. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. This is when you get up and you go for a walk, stretch your back. Oh, there we go. Are we done now? Are we finished? Are we sure? Let's take a look. Boom. At this computer, like you can hear the fans going crazy. All right. Drop two. There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Body slider. There he is. Nice. Yes, we got it. So this is what it is now. And let's see what it was before. And let me do this real quick. Let's see. Yep. Everything lines up well. I like it. Uh, Scully's, uh, the Scully's, I think it was number two. Uh-huh. And there it is. Click on it. So this is before. All right. That's before. And this is after just like that. That's good. That's another, uh, post that I'm going to start making is the, uh, where we started and uh, where we at. Look at that. Bam. Smooth. Love it. Very cool. Uh, we, the first one is with Adobe uh, Fresco on the iPad. 
And the second one is Adobe Illustrator on the iPad and Adobe Illustrator on the desktop. And it's through the use of gradients and keeping your layers separate, keeping your colors in separate layers uh, gives you the chance to start editing in Adobe Illustrator. But when you're working with Fresco, you also got to stick with the uh, vector brushes. Vector brushes is very important. So there you go. That's all we have for tonight. I appreciate you hanging out. Big ups to everybody who's uh, sticking it out this at this late hour. We had uh, our Cine. Let me go ahead and uh, switch my screen here. Boom, boom, boom. And so I can close these because this is dragging my computer really low. Come on. There we go. Woo. Big ups to Arseni, Tom LaRock, Odari, Richard, Moto Void. I hope I said your name correctly, Arseni. Uh, Lynn, yes, yes, yes. And um, let's see who do we have in here. In the, uh, oh, yes, and Garrett. That's right. Garrett stopped through. Appreciate you. And in the, uh, that was on the B hands, not the Discord. On the Discord, we got Odari, Cinnamon. Garrett stopped through robotic pastries and Bree. Tom was here for a second and uh, and he took off. Listen, get you some free tickets to Adobe Max. It's important that you stay up to date on what's happening. Uh, we just had that Apple event that was yesterday. So a bunch of new Apple devices. And then a few weeks ago was the Windows um, uh, event. And so there was been a lot of awesome updates when it comes to hardware now let's see where the software is taking us and that's where adobe max is all about it's about to maximize your adobe stuff all right everyone thank you for hanging out if you would like to have uh, ask questions and uh, suggestions in the discord please join us the link to the description uh, to the discord is in the description of this video come on in it's free find me anywhere delta tango mike Check out the rest of these Scullies at Scullies, Scully Series on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Just like that. Just like that. And as a matter of fact, rat to tat tat. I'm done, son. Son, it's